music my entire life. Since I was a little kid, the two things that I loved most in life were soccer, because I always played soccer, but then the other one was always music. I was always listening to music. I think once I got to like, probably around like middle school, I started thinking about how's it made, you know, like, I started paying attention to producers rather than just the artists, like, oh, who actually makes this music? How do they make it? So this chord progression is literally just like three, and it's on uh, the C scale. I was at a boarding school, and they had like a studio, and nobody ever used it, which like baffled me. I was like, you have this insane studio, like, why does nobody come here? I would go there all the time, bring my computer and just hook it up and get going. So on the bass, I have this thing called Kickstart here. Basically, it's a sidechain plugin, meaning um, it, it essentially creates like a pulsating thing to it. So like with it off, the bass just sounds like that. Right? And then with it on, it's after a couple months I had some beats you know and I had like a bit of a mentor at the time and he was kind of like hey have you ever thought about like singing on these like you have a decent voice and that kind of encouraged me to start doing it so then when I went to the studio I uh, started using the mic and started recording stuff and next thing you know I had like songs going <laughs> taught me a lot of stuff that I didn't know about Logic. And I would say more than anything, he really encouraged me. Without him like encouraging me, I don't think I ever would have released the EP. best way to develop is by just focusing on the quantity because the more you're making beat after beat after beat the quality is going to come naturally shout out my ep human h-u-e-m-a-n by will larkins w-i-l-l -L space l-a-r-k-i-n-s it's on apple music spotify i'm pretty sure youtube music which is weird so yeah go listen to it Thank you.